Welcome to Cheap Controls. We make videos on things that we struggled with, hoping to help you so you don't. Consider subscribing and hitting that bell. In this video, we're going to go over some of the timing involved with the get function. In the last two videos, we used some delays, and we're going to eliminate those in this one. I have the next timer running in debug mode here. We have the slider, the text, or the number box, and the text box. The code in the Arduino is exactly where we left off. I'm going to compile it now and just to make sure we have it working at this time. I'm going to set this up to start running. It won't do anything because we're sending it to data, but it's not sending anything back. And the only thing we're showing on this COM port is the return data. So we'll use the uh, MCU input and we'll select the COM5. I've gone over this before, um, if you use this MCU. You'll have one connection that feeds to the Arduino and one connection that goes up to the Nexion itself. And I use two um, separate USB to uh, RS-232 connectors. So I'll start it. Go over to here. And you can see where we left off is where we were sending Bill and it's replying with Bill. It does it every three seconds. And you can see if I change this to serial so we're sending get bill and it's returning bill. So it's working just exactly where we left off. I'm going to go back to the Arduino code. And what we want to do is we want to be able to get rid of these delays. But what we're going to need is a, is a way to tell the Arduino where we are, at what point are we getting ready to send the request or are we waiting to receive it. So we're going to set a variable, a new variable up here. And we're going to call it stage, like what stage are we at? And we're going to start by saying the get request. We're going to call it get request. In other words, we're sending the request to the next gen. And then we're going to comment out this delay and this delay. We're going to leave this one in for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to surround this with an if statement. So if the stage set if the stage is set to get request, which is what it is up here, then we want to send Bill to the connection display. And then we're going to want to do a similar thing down here. And we're going to bump this out so it stays uh, the syntax stays good. And then so, um, but up here we have to define it so that it will run this get reply down here. So after we've sent the request, we want to change stage to be equal to get reply. And we want to do the similar thing down here. After it's gathered all the data, and when we set the counter back to zero, if you remember the counter counts up the number of characters we've collected, then we want to set then we want to set the stage equal to get request, what we had up here. Well, that's about it. So really nothing should change in what we see on the display, except for that we won't have the delays. So I'm going to compile this. And it compiled well, so we'll see if I can keep going. My, my record's been pretty good over the last few videos. So now we're going to upload it to the device. And when I upload it, I'm going to switch over to the serial monitor because what should happen is you should see an increased rate of the of the change. And you can see by this over here, I'll go ahead and clear the airport the output. And you can see it's coming in much faster. And let's make sure that the data is correct. And you can still you can see that the counter still says eight and every reading is the same. So we're getting good data and it's coming through much, much quicker. Now that without the delay, what we do up here is we send the get request and we check immediately this has changed. So the next time through, it'll check. But if there isn't data available, it's not going to do any of this. So instead of incrementing the counter here and counting the characters, we're going to put it in here and see how many times does the counter count between this stage and this stage.
I'm gonna upload again and we'll go back to the serial monitor. Now it's uploaded, I'll turn the auto scroll on and off. It goes so fast, I'll leave the auto scroll off until I'm ready to show the data. And you can see it varies, it's not perfect depending because we're relying on real world here so the data is going up and coming back and who knows what the status of the next is at the time but it can take 2700 passes all the way down to 1400 or 1300 I'll go through a few more here here's 25 here's 12 you can see it's fairly random but because we're checking for when data is available it's still very stable We're going to move the counter back. And I want to show you something else because when we send this get request, it changes to get reply. Well, it's only going to change back to get request again if data becomes available. So I'm going to upload this now that I've moved the counter just so that we're up to the current code, but really nothing should change other than the counter. And you can see that it's scrolling. But if I go to the, but if I go to here and I stop this and then I start it again, I'll, this will go behind it. I'll have to bring it back forward. But if I stop it and then I start it again and I go here and I go over here, you can see if I clear the output, I'm not getting anything. There's no data coming. But if I reset the Arduino board then you can see the data starts to come in. And that makes sense because if we send the request to the Nexion, but it doesn't ever get it because it was shut off, then it doesn't know to send anything back. And the Arduino is waiting for something to get back before it can change it and send it again. So that's something we're gonna to have to take into consideration because as long as everything stays on, we don't have a problem. But what if there's a, a break in communication? So that's something else we're going to have to uh, address. The other thing is, is we have this one final delay here. I'm going to remove it and then upload it and show you what happens. I'm going to clear the output and let this run for a minute and now turn off the auto scroll. First thing you notice is the data is coming in even faster because we don't have that delay. But with the counter, the nice thing about the, the way we have the counter set up is it tells us how many characters are coming back and you can see that it's random. You can see that it's coming back, the data is coming back in the right form, I guess you could say, from Nexion. We're getting the P, the Bill, the three FFs, and then the P and the B, and then down here it gets the ILL. But what's happening is the Nexion may not, it's sending in a character at a time, and if there's a little bit of a break, if we go back to the Arduino here, if there's just a small break in this while serial 2 is available, it'll slip out of this and it'll go back and it'll send that get reply again. And then it'll come back through. Well, if it was just a small break and it sent the rest of the characters, it's going to pop right up and be ready to go again. And that's how come you get the end of the characters. Like here, this ILL. But then you also get the beginning of the characters here too, this PB. If the Arduino is so fast that when this sends, when this sees an interruption, like in between the L's or whatever it, wherever it breaks, it will pass it back up. It'll send another request. It'll come down here. It'll get the finishing of the one and then the beginning of the other. So that's something else that can be an error. So we really have two problems that we're going to need to fix if we want to use it this way. We're going to have to detect the end of the string so that we know when to stop and go on to the next one. We also have to figure out how to do some error detection to find out if the LCD loses connection from the Arduino. Could happen either way, or if there's just a missed bit here or there. So that's what we'll address in the next video. Well, that's about it for this video. If you like what you saw, consider giving me a thumbs up, and also consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.